Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are experimenting with dyeing synthetic wigs. I have two blonde wigs here that I would like to dye. It's around Halloween time and so I feel like this was a good how-to slash first impressions video for this. Um, I have been searching on the internet for how to dye synthetic fibers or synthetic wigs um, and I have found a solution or rather I hope I found a solution. Uh, RIT Dye has come out with a RIT Dye More dye. It is for synthetic fibers and I have found on Pinterest da, 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 by How But Crunches Cosplay <laughs> their guide, I'll pop it up right here, on the ultimate RIT dye more color chart for dyeing on synthetic wigs. Now in their charts and in their, or whoever this is, uh, experiments, they're dyeing on white fibers, they're not dyeing on blonde. However, I feel like for people out there who are dressing up for Halloween and things like that. If you can't find the color that you need, whether it be purple, blue, green, yellow, you can always find a blonde wig somewhere. I promise you. There's always blonde wigs available, whether it's at the costume shop, at the wig store, online, you can always find a blonde wig. So today, we are experimenting with dyeing a blonde wig green and purple. Um, this one I actually got from our wig store, our hair supply store. It's a little, it was only, it was only $16. It is not a very nice wig, however the fibers that this is made of are a little bit nicer than your average cheap wig. This wig um, I got offline and it is literally just like plastic. It feels uh, like plastic I don't even know if this is going to die, but this is one that you'd probably find in like a Walmart. I got, I bought it off of a wig site and I kind of got scammed a little bit. I bought three wigs, three wigs showed up, however they are not the three wigs that I ordered. But that's okay, because we got wigs. So just to give you a little bit of texture of what we're working with, the one wig is a little bit of a nicer synthetic fiber, heat resistant. This one is basically plastic. It said it was heat resistant, but I highly doubt that. Um, so we will see what is up with this. The dyes that we are using are the Rich Dye More Synthetic Dyes. We are going to be using Royal Purple and Peacock Green. So, let's get into it. Okay guys, so to use this RIT Dye More Synthetic Dye, you have to have boiling water, or rather water that is up to 200 degrees. So I have two pots here with about a gallon, gallon and a half of water each, um, and I'm going to let that simmer or come to a boil before we add the dye in. A couple things about this dye, it says that per one pound of fabric, i.e. two adult shirts, which is definitely not a pound, use half a bottle. Um, and then it also says use three gallons of water. Since I'm only doing one wig per color, I'm only using about a gallon, gallon and a half of water. And I think I'm only going to use like a fourth of the bottle, if that, because I don't necessarily need either of these wigs to be like potent in their uh, colors. I just need them, especially the purple one, it's for a Madame Mim costume. I need this one to be pretty light. Um, the green one is just for experimenting. But once this comes to a simmer, I'm only going to do one wig at a time because I'm new to this, so I have no clue if this is even going to work. Um, but we will be back when this water boils. So my water is about 200 degrees, I checked it. I lowered it to just a simmer because it said to maintain the heat. So I just lowered it down from high to low. I have protective gloves on and I have a couple of things, utensils that I do not care about like tongs and a plastic spoon. Make sure that you don't care about them in case they get ruined or you can't use them for food anymore. So. I'm going to take the peacock green dye and I'm just going to dump a bit in. I don't know if that was actually 
a quarter of it or not. Probably should have gotten my tripod for this. It's okay. Stirring it up. And I'm taking the wig that doesn't have bangs, the like long plasticky one, and I'm going to dip it in. Take my tongs because it's hot water. And submerge it. I'm gonna leave it in there for a couple seconds and then look at it and then leave it in for a couple more seconds and then look at it. Oh, it looks like we're getting somewhere. It says to continually stir it for 30 minutes, but like I said, I don't necessarily want this to be like dark forest green. Oh. Yeah, that's like a nice mint color. All right, we're gonna leave it in there for a little bit longer. A couple more minutes, swish it around a little bit more. Watch out, this is obviously extremely hot. <laughs> so you might want longer tongs, but I know that my husband won't kill me if I ruin these ones or if they get dye on them. This is also the plasticky one, so it just might not dye as well, to be honest. We'll see. All right, now it's time to rinse this one out, so I'm gonna take it to the tub so that we can rinse it out. Now we're going to rinse it off. Looking good though, guys. All right. So this is the color that it came out. That's like a nice minty color. It's not necessarily even. I might see if I want to dip it in the dye again to see if maybe I can get like it to be a little bit more even or a little bit more rich, but I'm pretty excited. We're gonna go and do the purple dot one and then we will have to dry them and style them and we'll see how this turned out, but it's promising for sure. All right guys, so second wig, we are using the purple writ dye more color. I have a gallon of water boiling, it's about 200 degrees. I'm not measuring this out, I'm just pouring a quarter to like, not a half, a little more than a quarter of it in there. Give it a good stir. I'm very excited about the purple one now that the green one came out so well. All right, blonde wig. This one is the one that's a little bit of like the nicer fibers with the bangs. So we'll see how this one ends up dying. I hope better, but we don't, we'll see. Two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, this one definitely died much better. All right, I don't want it to be too purple because this is for Madame Mim. Do you think it would be crazy to try to pressure wash the house this afternoon? Uh, yes. I guess it would be crazy, or I guess that would be something that would be okay to do. I mean, if you want to do it, do it, babe. I know, I'm just asking what your opinion is. My opinion is, is that I think that that's a lot to take on when it's like oh, past God. three. I know. I can't believe it's past three. All right, uh, we're going to dry this now. Or not dry it, but rinse it off. Uh, got dye everywhere. Okay guys, so these are how the wigs turned out. This is direct sunlight because I have them drying outside because it's such a beautiful day. And I want them to dry quickly so that I can style them and wear them for the end of this video. But this is the wig that I have going for Madame Mim. Um, I did not keep it in the dye very long. 
so and because the blonde was already really yellow it kind of toned the yellow to make it like a silver and then dyed it purple a little bit and then here I probably could have kept it in the uh, peacock green a little bit longer um, I might re-dye it we'll see how I'm feeling about it after it's all dried and styled but uh, definitely promising and the technique works loving it okay guys so here are the finished products for the dyeing the blonde synthetic wigs with the RIT Dye More synthetic dyes and I keep saying the RIT Dye More synthetic dyes because RIT also has a liquid dye but these ones just the regular RIT liquid dye is for cotton the regular RIT liquid dye is not for synthetic fibers like polyester nylon plastic hair <laughs> so the RIT Dye More synthetic dyes are going to be able to dye the nylon, the polyester, the plastic that your wig is made of. So these are the two colors that I used, Royal Purple and Peacock Green. And I used them on blonde wigs, as you saw in the video. So you have to take into account the wigs had a little bit of a yellowish tint to them already because they were blonde versus white. If you used white wigs, these would have come out a little bit more true to the actual color itself. Whereas this purple came out, this royal purple came out a little bit more silvery because the royal purple toned the blonde in the wig to be like silver white and then it put the purple in on top of that. I'm definitely not mad at this because I'm going to turn this into a Madame Mim wig which Madame Mim, I'll post a picture right here, has like a silverish purpley tint to her hair so I'm not mad. This peacock green one, I was a little bit concerned that it came out a little too light and it's a little bit more on the yellow side but again the wig had a yellow tint to it already with it being blonde i could dye this again if you do want a darker richer color you can leave it in longer you can leave it in the dye longer and or you can use more dye to less water does that make sense so it's really kind of like a playing and a guessing game as to what color you want the richness. If you leave it in the dye longer, it's going to be deeper and more rich, as the guide that I had earlier showed us. Or if you just want it to be, you know, a hint or a pastel of a color, use more water, less dye, just dip it in. But keep an eye on it either way. Keep checking it to make sure. So I'm going to pop up some before and afters as I talk a little bit more about the dyes themselves um, to show you what they look like before and after. Uh, they're dyed, them being blonde and now them being like purple and green. Again, Rit Dye More, polyester, nylon, blends with synthetics, acrylics, acetates. Um, it really worked well on the wig. So anybody who's cosplaying or who can't find the color wig that you actually need, just buy a blonde wig or a white wig in the length or style that you need and then dye it with some Rit Dye More. It's probably going to cost you just the same if you special order a wig yourself. It works! I was very pleasantly surprised with the how well it did work because it is so hard to dye these synthetic fibered wigs um, because they just don't take to color very well like traditional hair does. So if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful give it a big old thumbs up. I will link all of the products that I use down in the description box below so you can check them out on your own time. I will also link a white and blonde haired wig down below so if you are looking for a place to start you can check that out on your own time as well. Do you have any tips and tricks for dyeing synthetic wigs that might have worked for you? Markers, paint, alcohol, ink. Let me know all of that in the comment section below. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.